Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, I am Duffy Duck here once again, and I'm back for some more of the Maxi Toys videos. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my play of Sonic Unleashed for the Xbox 360 slash PlayStation 3 DLC playthrough. So, last time we actually did tackle through the forms of um, Spigonia DLC levels, even though I did die several times in the forms of, not just in the forms of the daytime levels, but also by the forms of the nighttime levels as well. So, apart from that though, it's a pretty good run through, not the entire best run through by any means, because there are some plenty of times though that I occasionally died every now and then, which even then though, that may seem the case with the forms of the actual, um, skills and tactics as far as you're aware, so... Yeah, today for this episode, folks, is the fact that we're going to be hit off to the next destination right there, and now see forms of Chunan. So, so far so good for this point, folks, with the forms of the DLC playthrough of this, because we now ended up in a halfway point of the forms of the DLC stages as a result. So, Fernando, um, yeah, enough about that, so let's go and get started by the forms of Act 1-2, where we basically be traversing through the first act yet again, but this time, you know, it's a lot harder than you expect it to. So, yeah, of all the other DLC stages we're going to be running to in this particular game, uh, this will have to be one of the worst Here DLC we? stages I've ever going to be coming across into, because even then, you'll see why when we get into Act 2-2, because even then, um, you know, you get the idea with this solution here, so... Yeah, today was actually in forms of, uh, the 15th of June, 2018, so, I guess there's some, uh, there's some quite a few things worth mentioning for this point, is the fact that, well, recently, how the fact that, uh, recently, um, uh, oh, wow, that was so garbage right there, and, yeah, I keep running to that like an idiot, I'm such a coward, ugh, we'll try this again, so, um, anyway, though, um, no matter what though, it's the fact that one thing I should probably mention about this actually, that since I've briefly mentioned about this in the forms of the last video of how the fact that with the forms of the Octo expansion in the forms of Splatoon 2, how the fact that uh, that particular DLC did recently came out yesterday, see so Fernando, that um, originally they were about to be releasing that piece of DLC until when we get to at some point in summer, but they're trying to able to cut to the chase and able to actually release that in the forms of, um, well, June the 14th. So even then, though, that sounds like a really good deal for me, though. And especially those about how the fact that, well, we've only got about a few more days left until, well, I would say, um, how much days that we've got left, I wonder. I believe we've only got about to ourselves, um, oh, jeez, I totally forgot about this. Um, 11 days left until the, uh, the Donkey Kong Adventure on the forms of Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle DLC is about to be on its way too. So even then though, we're really looking forward to those two things at the moment with the forms of the DLC stuff as far as you might think about it. But the only DLC I haven't really got into is the forms of uh, Fire Emblem Warriors DLC at the moment because, um, well, obviously I'm really concentrating on the forms of uh, the upcoming Nintendo Switch titles, mainly the forms of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and also Super Mario Party as well. So you can know that I can't, I cannot believe how the fact that there's going to be tons of Mario Parties out there at this point in time, folks. Especially noticeable how the fact that, um, yeah, we now finally jump into Nintendo Switch instead of the 3DS for third, no, the fourth time in a row. Which, if that's mainly the case though, then it will be kind of a more accurately, it might be another something to do with more accurately, um, another one of those ND cube tiles is actually working on that. So, anyways though, um, yeah, I can't wait to see how the, um, the actual, um, you know, the playthrough of the forms of, um, Arcto expansion of Splatoon 2 will be on its way. Well, usually it already came out in yesterday, as far as I've mentioned this before. So, anyways though, Oh boy. Okay, there we go. Now we did manage to reach up. Oh my lord, we're actually on top of this little particular ceilings right there. Or in this case, the actual uh, top portion of this, so... Okay, good. We actually ride it on the rocket. So yeah, this is what I mean about the fact with the, uh, the DLC stages every now and then gets significantly difficult than the likes of how it does in the regular levels is because, well, obviously the level design has actually got a little bit more different as far as you might think about it. Okay, it's land on the springs. And we can hopefully, to, um, well, hopefully we're trying to able to actually avoid as many of these, uh, possible pairs as possible, even as most noticeable with the forms of spikes everywhere, and all that stuff. 
So you never heard the fact that with the forms of the yesterday's video, with the forms of Spigonia DLC video, that I really do apologize of how the fact that- Whoa! That was really close. Um, anyway though, I really do apologize of how the fact that I did occasionally got myself some really awkward pauses in during recording sessions on commentary wise because you know how the fact that with my laptop keep on lacking all of a sudden? Which, thankfully, that's not the case here this time around though, because what I just managed to perform is the fact that I need to able to switch off my laptop for a few seconds, and then after a few seconds later, then I should able to actually get my laptop running and going again. So even then though, that everything else will be checked out there for the most part though, so even then though, that's mainly the case here, so... Oh boy, we're getting to the most difficult section in s sections in this level right here, is the fact that we actually- Oh my lord. Okay. <sighs> Alright, things should be good to go right there. Oh my lord! Ah! Okay. That's where platforming sections can get pretty difficult, especially noticeable in the daytime stages as far as I'm aware, because, you know, unlike in Colors and Generations, that you can't able to actually steer Sonic in mid air. And even especially noticeable, it's kind of like similar to the ones in Sonic Forces as well, that um, you can't obviously try to able to actually change your, um, mid uh, directions every time you jump, which even then, though, that always loses my footing, and all that comes with shenanigans like that, but even then, though, this, that could be very inconsistent, I'm gonna tell you that right about now, and I keep on running to those bombs, which even then, though, just like before, um, you know, ever since in the regular Act 1 of this particular level, but this time around, though, is the fact that those bombs can be placed out like someone at art placements and stuff like that, or perhaps it's mainly, oh, Christ, uh -oh. Is there any... Okay, whoa, 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 and finish the main level. Phew! Alright, so let's see how well I did on this level, though. Ah, oh, I got a B rank. I'm kind of hoping I might as well get an S rank, though. Yeah, I think the only time I need to get the S rank on this level, though, is definitely we have to able to actually bypass the ending section without even getting hit at least once. Well, at least to be more specifically, do not get hit by the bombs and all that robot attacks that he's performed. So, yeah, you know, you get the idea with this solution now, so... Now let's move on to... Oh boy... Act 2-2. Oh jeez... The reason why I despise this level so much is because... Well, obviously, this level plays exactly like the regular Act 2, but except the fact that we have to do it with, like... I guess assuming that in Act 2, the regular version of Act 2, that um, you have to deal with like three laps total, but this time around though, you have to deal with five laps. So that's the perfect example of how the fact that I'm not a huge fan of lap based levels, unlike any forms of I did have a comfortable time on the forms of what the hello? Jeez. How come that um, robot just managed to get onto me like, you know? Well, good thing I've managed to get myself my extra life back at least, so. Still, can't really deny it. Can't really deny it by that, so... Anyways, though, oh, how the hell did that spike just manage to get onto me? And, oh, Christ, that was really close. And, I'm out of ring energy, so what's the point of that? Well, at least I can hope I can actually make it to this point. And, oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, what the hell do I supposed to see that? Ugh. <sighs> Great. See, this is what I mean why I really hate this level so much, is because, well, first of all, the how the fact that I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm still not a big fan of the forms of the lap-based stages, unlike in Mario Kart, but even then, though, except the fact that, um, the level layout is gonna be twice as difficult as the forms of the regular main levels, and second of all, there's gonna be a lot of trial and error moments here and there, mainly due to the very end, which you know what I'm talking about right there. Which, even then, now, that can be seems the case here. Whoa! That was very, very lucky. Especially noticeable with that landing technique I just performed. Or in this case, the actual, uh... Uh, you know, trying to able to actually, uh... Get into that spring onto the exact spot. So, that's pretty cool, though. That is super cool, and... Except the fact that there's gonna be too many homie missiles all over the place. Which, that's another thing that I really despise the most, so... Okay. Oh, what the... I definitely pressed A. I definitely pressed A. Oh, jeez. Plus, you know how the fact with the forms of this little, uh, cannon counterpulse stuff? 
that, um, you know, you could expect that you can't able to actually react to in time. In, uh, in case if you actually just managed to get this too slow or too early, then you weren't able to die a lot in this level. Even especially noticeable when we get to the very end of the level. I'm gonna tell you that now. So anyways though, uh, for the most part though, I did that in a better run, but until we get to the future laps, any forms of lap 4, and especially the final lap, any forms of lap 5, well, things start to get pretty trial and error, um, annoyances is gonna be involved in here and there, so... Oh, what the Christ, man! Jeez, Louise. Alright, let's try the Nazi homie attack onto that. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. But at least I'm almost there, though, see if I know. Thankfully, though, I've got myself not only those rings, but also trying to able to actually bypass those dummy springs, so... Yeah, that's as far as I can majorly concern with this. I know a lot of people seem to get, like, the worst ranking in this level easily, though, which is forms of the E rank, so... That, as, as a matter of fact, though, that I could potentially try to get that, though, so this might actually be the first time we've ever going to be encountering the E rank in this particular game so far. Well, not so bad anyway, though, at least as far as the, uh, as far as this stage so far, that I managed to did that pretty decently enough, well... It wasn't until when we get to, like, um, I guess assume it's this part right there, like, you know, tons of spike placements and also quite a few wall jumps you have to make your way, make yourselves through. And especially noticeable with the forms of, um, this really, really annoying ending part where you have to deal with this particular counterpult, uh, cannon section. And in addition to that, though, you have to be on the exact right spot before you're able to actually, oh, this is the fourth lap, okay. Um, this should be easy though, especially knows about what they- Oh Christ! No! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Get back! Get- Oh, Oh, I really hate that dummy spring placement right there. That's such a troll right there. Um, yeah, at least uh, the fourth section isn't too big of a deal until this lap. Well, it's not so bad in your forms of this particular sequences right there. Especially knows about I was really used to with the forms of this particular sequences as a result from those kinds of stuff like this. Until the uh the cannon uh counterpult section, until we get to the um like not from this part though, but uh no not that one there, but the next one after this is this one. Because what's stingy about this is that this particular spring and that little uh uh spiked uh little thing right there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It it, it starts to react way too fast, and as a result, if you did not make it a nick of time, then you weren't able to actually fell off to the bottomless pit, and plus, and not to mention with this little kinds of stuff like this, um, you have to do the entire lap again, which, thankfully though, you don't have to do the entire level all over again, unlike any forms of Act 5 in Spagonia DLC level, but I found this to be a really, really stingy section, especially those where you have to be re rely on the timing skills and stuff like that, so... But jeez, there we go, so let's see how well we did. Well, first E rank in this game, yay. Huh. <sighs> Seriously, I just really hate this level in a huge passion. And that's why I keep on dying a lot, because of how the fact that with the forms of that, um, strict, ti uh, strict timing, with that specific, uh, you know, this little, uh, springs and stuff like that, so you have to be rely on timing requirements, but even then, though, that, I just really despise this level, so, yeah, this is actually the first e rank run-through I've ever done in this Let's Play so far, well, not in the main game, but just on the DLC playthrough, because even then, yeah, that is quite embarrassing, so anyways, now let's move on to Axe number 4, um, if I remember correctly, that this level might take literally as short as the any other levels were. Um, at least compared to how it does in Act 2-2, for instance, because you have to do with, like, insane amount of laps you have to go through. But if I remember correctly, if I've played this, this one isn't, wasn't nearly as hard, though. Well, the only time it makes it incredibly difficult with this level, though, I will admit, though, right away, is that you start things off with no rings, and you have to deal with the most difficult platforming sections until you're able to actually just find yourself some rings until this particular sequence is, which even then, you will die so easily in this level though too, but if you manage to go over here, we get ourselves this little quick time events thing to deal with right there, although there is actually a, uh, the alternative pathway you can able to take through, but because the quick time events is so freaking fast, so even then though, you couldn't expect it to be able to make there in time, so even then though that, 
This one made people seem to get thrown off in some cases like this, that how the fact that these quick time events can get pretty, pretty stingy, or in this case, the actual, um, well, pretty difficult as a result of that, so. Alright, so I need to jump over this little spiky little stuff there, and hopefully we can just... Sometimes it's all about waiting impatiently for this part too, because it's especially noticeable that if you want to make yourself safe, even especially noticeable with that... Oh, nice. Nice. Thanks. For actually giving me an electric shock like this. Okay. Oh, there we go. Light speed dash here, and air boost. I highly suggest you do air boost, and there we go. It only took me about a minute and 18 seconds though, and nice, an A effort, how about that then, huh? That's how it should be done in the forms of Act 2-2, but the only stingy part about that act is the forms of that stingy uh, timing requirement with that little, uh, you know, reversible um, spike and spring obstacle right there, which even then I would appreciate it with this stuff right there, so... Now let's move on to act number 5, where we... Are oh, you kidding me? We have to do it four laps! Can you tell, folks, I'm really not a big fan of lap-based stages as a result of this kinds of stuff? Well, luckily, though, this might be, um... I would say this might actually be the final, uh, lap-based level. At least as far as in this particular DLC playthrough of this, but after this we're going to be doing like a simple run straight forward type of syndrome like this. Although the only noticeable difference is though is the fact that um, it's going to be a lot of difficult obstacles here and there. See, so banana, that's as far as majorly concerned with this though, so. Anyways though, so in this particular level right there we have to- Oh really? Do I have to like- uh, I don't really have my momentum to able to actually walk on water anymore? Oh that's just kind of stupid anyway. Um, sometimes that this particular frame rate does have some frame rate issues, even especially noticeable in this level alone, because there's way too many stuff on screen in the forms of bombs placements and flamethrowers, and also not to mention with the forms of, like, you have to keep your boost going, don't get me wrong, but the way you have to able to actually perform with this level kinds of stuff like this, well, you have to rely on frame rate issues, where the forms of bombs placements and fi uh, flamethrowers, and... Basically, that's all I can really say about this, as far as I'm aware, though, so... Alright, so, so far, so good, though, anyway. Well, the only time I did die is the forms of- Ah, oh! Shoot. <sighs> Let's try this again. Hopefully we can- Are you kidding me? Oh, phew, that was really close. Admittedly, though, that, that, en that enemy right there can almost attempt to screw me over and that- Oh, no! Oh, I really hate the placements of these little spike pillars because it always attempts to throw me off of that stuff like that for that nature, which even then, that can almost potentially like Oh Christ, 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 Christ. Oh ay, 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 ay. Oh, I'm sorry for a little bit of a uh the strange noises and all of a sudden, all the strangest voices I've actually just managed to voice myself. Oh, I keep running to the pumps like an idiot. Oh, uh, it's one of those, another one of those levels that I can able to get myself a bit of a Tron uh, annoyances here and there, and these rocks, they can really throw me off too, because even then, they can always get in my way. <sighs> oh, don't you dare, why would you put me there? What? Oh, come on, I need to finish this level just to manage to get this level over with, uh, before he- You son of a pig. There's no point in speaking to him, but I, I was gonna get finally get past for that stupid part right there. But I'm not speaking into whenever I uh, manage to get to that certain point whenever I'm not supposed to get stuck. Because I'm really getting tired of trial and error annoyances here and there. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. Okay, quick time event to deal with right there, and boom! Boom, shakalaka. Oh, <sighs> Oh, really? How do I able to expect himself for that? E for exceptional bullcrap. Ah, <sighs> well, there goes our second E rank of this run through. As far as I'm aware, for that little um, trial and error situations, as far as you're aware for that for this point, folks. But, jeez, Louise, out of all these two acts that we've did done with the forms of two non DLC levels, in fact, um, I'll explain more on that later, though. But for now on, though. Let's shift over to the nighttime levels, and now we can actually begin the forms of the nighttime DLC stages in Dragon Road. 
So even then, though, we can able to deal with, like, Act 1-2 first, and then after that, then we pretty much move on to Act number 3. So, yeah, as far as I'm aware for this kind of stuff, that's all I can really say about this here, so... In fact, in Act 1-2 right there, uh, we're actually going to be starting things off nearly at the, at the very end, on the forms of a, the original Act 1 level, which even then, uh, the noticeable differences this time around, though, is the fact that, you know, the, um, the undiscoverable area that we haven't sort of discovered yet, in the forms of the regular Act 1, that there's no way we can able to reach for it because of the, uh, you know, the leaps of faith or the lack of depth that we can't able to make it through. But on the other hand though, now we can able to actually discover the actual other side of the forms of Dragon Road in nighttime level now. And he forms of the, in this particular level, and he forms of, you know, um, Act 1-2 now. So yeah, that's pretty swell. So anyways though, um, yeah, there's not much else I can really say about this point folks, because even then there's not much else I can discuss. So, anyways though. Let's go ahead and just, oh wait, I need to be able to actually make our way, yeah, I need to, yep, I know it, I need to be able to actually get myself a biggest jump height ever with that, you know this little, uh, uh, pole grabbing mechanic that we need to utilize that in the forms of the very beginning, like, for instance, in this part right there, we need to tilt the analog stick all the way up, before you're able to make your way into the forms of the swinging bars, and then that way we should able to actually reach into those higher places and all that stuff, so... Yeah, it's not too much of a big of a deal though, it's just saying that much. So anyways, um... Yeah, we actually keep on getting those, um, experience points and also... Wait, why is that battle theme music has been playing? Oh, wait a minute, I just realized about something. We haven't got to that point yet, because even now, no, we're actually going to be traversing through this other... Um, sections notice, so even then know that. Now, if I remember correctly, that, uh, this levels won't be nearly as bad as the forms of, uh, Spigonia, uh, DLC Act 2 in nighttime level. Well, your noticeable difference is, though, however, though, is the fact that, um, well, it's all when we get to Act 3, though, anyway, because you're probably wondering where's Act 2. Well, it's gonna be on the, you know, the secondary hub world in the forms of Dragon Road, so, yeah, that's all I can really say about this at this point, so... Let's go and get ourselves some more Unleashed Orbs, in case if we're about to be leveling up, the, or in this case, trying to get our Unleashed meter going. And even more enemies to dish out from, so even then know that we can expect him to do so. So, let's beat the likes of so let's beat the crap out of them. So, yeah, I, I was meant to say that, because even then know, yeah. So, for the most part though, that the nighttime DLC levels wasn't nearly as bad until Shimmer Act 3. Because even then, I'm going to tell you this right about now. Uh, the fact that uh, we're going to be coming across into Shimar until later on. And let me tell you up front that uh, Shimar DLC levels can be tremendously difficult sometimes. I say sometimes is because, well, we'll explain more on that later though. But for now, um, let's go ahead and just get ourselves even more health. And uh, let's just wait until... Oh, are you kidding me? The Unleash, um, you, know, uh, you know, the maxed out level for the forms of that particular... Uh, Unleash Orb is slowly disappears, which, even then, I will admit though right away though, is that the item pickups, every time you actually smash through parts and all that stuff, that most of these, um, item power-ups and all that stuff, they usually just smash to spawn in every now and then. Um, sometimes it doesn't last very long though, I'm afraid, because even then though, that this can be a little lies of how the fact that, well, I don't really have to think about for this point, so, anyways. Alright, so let's go ahead and beat the likes out of this guy here, and hopefully we can just, you know, get some more experience points as a result, if we manage to able to actually, um, I would say we might be able to actually level up more on health or life, as what it says in this particular in-game's, uh, visuals and stuff like that, which, even though not, that might be, seems the case, so. Alright, so I believe, uh, this is a point that we've actually got into, or something like that, I wasn't 100% sure, because, uh, I know it's been a long time since I actually just managed to get back into Sonic Unleashed for the Xbox 360 slash PlayStation 3. Well, I did manage to play a bit of on the PlayStation 3 version for quite some time to be able to actually practice some of these, uh, the DLC stages as far as I'm aware for those kinds of stuff. So even though, no, no, that we're expected for this much. So anyways, now we actually did finish them off. Yep, we certainly did. So now we can move on. So good thing there's a checkpoint right there, so I don't think we actually come across into this area though, I don't think, so 
yeah, we can able to actually, uh, before we able to continue, we need to actually head on to this little pad right there, and able to mash the B button at all times, or the circle button, then we can able to see what's, um, higher up, see for now, not only do we get ourselves a whole bunch of rings, and also in addition to I've got myself two extra lives back, so, Hopefully, I've, I'm probably not going to make it all the way up to, like, 99 one-ups, per se, because, it, you know, the DLC stages can be very brutal sometimes. Even as Spencer knows of all that, as far as I have all trying to mention this before, that until when we get to Shaman nighttime levels, though, things can get pretty much devastating, as Spencer knows of all, it was always draining my life too many times, as far as I'm aware for those girl kinds of stuff like that, so... Yeah, you can definitely tell why when we get to that, though. So, anyways, um... Yay, nice little, um, hammer, or wear hammer, or the actual, um, earth down, or something like that, so... Yeah, pretty devastating attack if you manage to pull that off with these specific combos you can able to perform. So, yeah, I like the way how it does. So, anyways... And, of course, we go ourselves these particular monster-looking, um, uh, monsters again. So, you can then note that this time around, though, well... We got ourselves a big, um, big, um, arena for once, so, and also with the addition to those walls that are trying to protect you now, so, that's the thing I like, that's the only thing I do really like, so anyways, let's finish him off, and, oh, he's almost down, so I'm hoping he can able to actually be down by then, there he goes, now let's go ahead and just face off against with the second, um, you know, titan monster right there, or in this case, the actual blob monster of any kind, so, yeah, let's just, um, Actually, yeah, I might as well beat the likes out of these enemies first, and then just perform Unleash Mode. I was able to actually save the Unleash Mode until we get to the very end of this level, though, because we might actually come across into a Titan monster. So, expecting so, then, yeah. So, there goes this little monster right there. And hopefully, we can able to actually deal with this little, uh, switches, but before we do that, or the actual, uh, uh, pulling liver, then we have to deal with, uh, more of those enemies to dish out from, as you expect or to. So, yeah, you can expect to have the fact that, uh, most of these enemies can get, well, I don't know about you, but even I know, yeah, you can, you can guys can clearly tell on this little footage right about now, so, anyways, though, um, aside from all that, um, there's not much else I can really say about this, uh, apart from being, uh, First of all, uh, an another thing I'd like to point out uh, right away, though, is the fact that I recently saw a brand new trailer of the forms of the upcoming Disney live-action movie of any co uh, of any kind, Nazi forms of Dumbo. So even then, uh, uh, as far as I've looked at the actual uh, remake of Dumbo, compared to how it does in the forms of 1941 film, um, it looks incredibly different from the likes of the 2D animated version of that. But except the fact that, um, I'm pursuing the, uh, the realistic people is gonna be- Whoa. There's a ton of lag going on right there, especially notice of what this little titan is involved. With the forms are trying to able to smash for the walls and all that stuff, so even then, oh yeah. Speaking of the actual titan itself, then we can able to actually dish it out from him, so even then, oh. But it's a good thing that we can, in, uh, we can able to actually deal with him in a bigger arena, so... There's no way we can able to actually die from that until Shamar Act 3. So you can know that you can definitely tell why what I'm talking about here. So anyways though, um yeah, you know, for I've seen the actual uh, live action uh version of Dumbo trailer, or the teaser trailer I should say, because the film wasn't gonna come out until next year. Because after all we've got ourselves uh Christopher Robin next, and he forms of the actual uh Disney live action movie is gonna be up until like this August, so even then though, they're expecting it will be coming until like two months time. But even then though, I might be very curious to see how that film's gonna be played out. But I mean, sure that of how the fact that with the forms of, uh, compared to how it does in 2016, we've got is, um, The Jungle Book. And 2015 that we've got is Cinderella. And in 2017 that we've got is Beauty and the Beast. And now we've got ourselves, uh, Christopher Robin. And, uh, also during next year, we've got to get ourselves a combination of those three Disney live-action films that we've got until next year, which are Dumbo, Aladdin, and The Lion King. So even then, I'm really looking forward to all those three is about to be up. Any forms of the live-action and variations of those films themselves, so... Yeah, that's what I can really say about this. And, once again, beautiful S-rank, top-notch. No too many death situations, unlike any forms of, uh, the daytime levels and the true non levels as far as I'm aware of that stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and just upgrade our Unleash meter at the moment. 
And let's just say we'll level up speed for now, because even then, no. I would expect you to be able to actually continuously leveling up the Werehawk at the moment, but unfortunately that's not the case though, so. Wow, that was pretty easy though for the most part though. So anyways though, now let's go ahead and move on to Act 3 of the forms of, well, Dragon Road to non-nighttime levels, so. Let's see how this war actually plays out. Although, as far as I'm aware, though, it's going to be one of those, another one of those, um, platforming sections levels. So, or in this case, just platform-heavy levels. So, let's see how this plays out then, huh? So, yeah! That's the way I like it, um, Sonic the Warhawk. And, yeah, we got ourselves these little, uh, swinging bar segments noticing. So, even then, though, that sometimes it moves and sometimes it doesn't, so... Yeah, we have to do a, a carefully positioning platforming level right there, and if there's an extra life right there, in case if you want to get it. So, as well as beyond that, we got ourselves the little, uh, saw blades, which we can't able to actually interact with that. Apologize about the fact that, that the actual chainsaw sound effects can really interrupt the forms of the actual in-game music and stuff like that, because it is monoxiously loud, I'm gonna tell you that now. I don't know if that's been fixed on the PlayStation 3 version, although I might be wrong about that. But even then, no, we'll see what happens then, as soon as I played that version again. So even then, no, that, um... Yeah, that's what as I can really say about this stuff for the most part, though, so... Um, uh, speaking of such, in the forms of the PlayStation 3, that I've recently managed to get back into Sonic the Hedgehog 1 on the PlayStation 3 on the forms of the... In the forms of the... Um, the PlayStation Network download version. Now the fact that I've now finally got ourselves, I finally managed to got myself all these trophies on that game because it took me a couple of tries in the forms of trying to able to obtain the first marble, which in order to actually get that trophy in Sonic the Hedgehog 1 is the fact that you need to make your way to the very end of the, um, the marble zone level in Act 1 within, let's just say, 80 seconds, which even then uh, means is the forms of a minute and... Well, no, not 80, uh, well, it's 80 seconds, but in the forms of the minute and 20 seconds. So, that makes it a little bit obvious with the forms of the in-game, uh, time limits, um, based. So, yeah, that's all I can say about this here, so. Yeah, there's an enemy you can able to beat the likes out of from, but I'm probably not gonna, not gonna recommend that too much, because there were a few times, though, you might end up overshoot yourself with the forms of jumps and combos you performed. So anyways though, wow, we're actually breaching for this level very, very fast though, especially noticeable with the forms of the fact that we don't have as many death situations so far though, because I've usually practiced those on my own time for a lot of times though. So anyways though, let's go ahead and just beat the likes of these little flower-based enemies, including the likes of this wizard is returning. So, oh, you kidding me, that wizard did manage to restore one of their flowers as enemies, health increase so let's go and beat the likes out of him to deserve that so anyway though i think that should do or is there just still more still some more enemies to deal out with yeah there's gonna be still some more enemies to deal up deal up with so yeah you can definitely tell how the fact that um you know as far as i've mentioned this before the whole fact there's a very good way to able to actually level up not just with sonic the hedgehog but also sonic the werehog as well in case if you want to get some more experience points after that so, even though it's a pretty recommendable way you do that, so... Anyways, though, so let's go ahead and just dish out them, and hopefully we can able to actually move on to... The continuation of the level, so even then, though, that, thankfully, though, the checkpoints themselves wasn't nearly as far away as to how it does in the forms of the very hard missions in Sonic, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2006, because, um... Sometimes checkpoints can go a little bit far away from each other with the forms of the different checkpoints and stuff like that, so... Yeah. Anyways though, so basically in this point right there, we have to be very careful at this point right there, because sometimes, uh, these little swing bars can up and sometimes my, um, close down, and also make sure I got back in here again, screw, let's try this again. Anyway, trying to, we're trying to able to be very careful right there, because, uh, the only time it makes it incredibly off-putting for me, though, is that my green radical thing does... Alright, third time's a charm then. Hopefully we can not able to get too many death situations. I said this when I was trying to say this out loud, but... Apparently my luck expires by the forms of, well, just, you know... 
trying to able to actually do a non-dev situations right there, but of course it wasn't, so... There you go, we beat the likes out of him, and now we can continue on by simply just able to using that little pole right there. And we can able to fling out, or in this case, fluke over, and able to get an extra life back after getting several deaths, but in forms of... Not just because of the actual, um, the actual, um, swinging bars will actually decide to go, like, uh, you know, deactivated or activated, which usually sometimes alternate between the two. But, on the other hand, though, is that for some reason, my green, uh, lock on Radical does not show up sometimes at all. Which, even then, though, that can get pretty much a problematic whenever when my death situations can get pretty much in common. Well, it's not bad, regrettably, like you see that right there. But, in some cases, that it attempts to throws me off whenever my, uh, my green lock on, uh, Radical doesn't show up sometimes. Which, even then, though, that may seem the case. So, anyways. And considering this might be the end of the level, because we got ourselves these, uh, final set amount of enemies, in addition to this little green, um, plasma wizard that we can able to dish down from as well. And, hopefully we can able to actually just finish this level as normal, so... Thankfully, though, we've got ourselves the Unleashed mode, quite frankly, though, so even then, though, that is far as you expected. Oh, we've got one more enemy left. Hopefully we can deal with him, deal with him. and huzzah! Will that be it? Yeah, that'll be it. So, let's touch the goal wing, and let's see how how well I, I managed to perform that, so... Oh, wow, got an A rank, despite the fact that I've already died two times in this level, but... I could wish I was want to get the S rank, though, probably because I won't able to get that death from the... Um, you know this little swinging bar, um, sequence no worth noting for? Which, even I know that might seem the case, so... Let's put every single experience points in the forms of strength, because, well, I just feel like for that stuff. And... Oh, our six, um, left with the forms of the, you, you know, the leveling up with strength, so... Hopefully in the next video, though, I would expect him to be able to actually level up my, uh... Strength abilities and all that stuff, so... Jeez. That was something else, man. That is purely something else. So anyways, though, let's go ahead and end things off at this point right there. So join me next time on Last Play Sonic Unleashed for the Xbox 360 slash PlayStation 3 DLC playthrough. It's the fact that we're going to be hit off to Shimar daytime levels, including the nighttime levels DLC stages. So things can get pretty interesting because as far as you're aware... Every time you proceed to the DLC stages, they can get really, really difficult. And trust me, when we get to Shimon Night Act 3, you can definitely tell why. So see you guys next time. Later, fellas.